What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Eric Emanuel collaboration with Adidas on the Forum 84 High in the McDonald's All-American Games colorway. This pair released back on April 23rd for a retail price of 140 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 170 Canadian. The official colorway for this shoe is Cloud White, Bold Gold and Cream White, and this shoe, like the nickname suggests, celebrates the McDonald's All-American Games, which is the annual high school all-star basketball game, which unfortunately has been canceled the past few years due to COVID-19. First things first though, here's a quick look at the box, and these come in a special edition box. So this is done in this hot pink magenta sort of color, and we have both Eric Emanuel and Adidas's co-branding. As for the shoes, so this is your classic Adidas Forum High Silhouette. As we dive into the details, first off with the toe box, this is covered in this white colored leather and we have this perforated finish on the toe box. We have more of this smooth leather covering the outer edge of the toe box and overall has a very nice sleek shape to it. And then on the lateral side we have Eric Emanuel's logo which is done in this navy blue finish. But on the medial side, on the left foot we have these three stars and then on the right foot we have the famous arch of McDonald's. Right next to the toe box we have this hit of this navy blue colored leather which covers the width of the shoe. And then covering the eyelets, we have more of this white leather. And if you look closely, we have these circular eyelets done in white, except for the bottom one, which is finished in yellow. Overlaid on top of the mid panel, we have the Adidas 3 stripes, which on the lateral side is constructed out of a premium red colored leather. In between this, we have these perforations. And if I flip the shoe over to the medial side, the stripes on this side are done in this navy blue color. Moving downwards, so here we have this white colored leather, which forms the shape of an X. And this is what connects the strap to the rest of the body of the shoe. And then stamped on top, we have the McDonald's All-American Games logo. Underneath this, we have this tan or dark cream colored leather, which has the feel of Nubuck. And then surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this overlay of flat suede. Hugging the top portion of the back heel of the shoe, we have this hit of this very tumbled yellow colored leather. And then this triangular shape at the top of the back heel is this gray colored suede. So the medial side is a bit more empty than the lateral side, and you can see here it's entirely covered in that tan colored leather. So the strap on the shoe which helps to contain your foot and really lock it down into place, this is constructed entirely out of this white colored leather. It's adjustable and attaches on using Velcro, and in the middle we have this hit of this navy blue colored leather. For the laces, these come with these white flat style laces, but if you're looking to add some added pop and added color, they give you three extra lace options. So here in my hand, I have this bold yellow colored lace, a navy blue pair, and a red one as well. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of this off-white sort of pinkish colored nylon. And at the very top, the tag has a McDonald's All-American logo on it once again. And on the back side of the tongue, we have the Adidas Trifoil logo in red. Taking a look at the insoles, these come with custom branded insoles as well. So on the left foot, we have both the Adidas Trifoil logo and the Eric Emanuel logo. And then on the right foot, instead of the EE logo, we have the McDonald's All-American Games logo. Wrapping around the entire back heel of the shoe, we have this yellow colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure, stability, and support for the back end of the sneaker. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this rubber midsole, which is done in this off-white vintage looking finish. On the lateral side only, Underneath the heel, we have the Adidas wordmark and the trefoil logo. And then on the medial side, you'll see that the midsole here has a bit of a gap and it exposes this white colored foam with this netting over top. So this is what Adidas calls Dellinger Web and it's supposed to help with impact protection and shock absorption. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, which for the most part is constructed using this yellow colored rubber. We have this circular pivot point in red on the forefoot, along with a suction cup looking traction pattern found throughout. And then in the middle, we have this white rubber with Adidas branding running down the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Forum 84 highs. For those wondering how these fit, overall, I feel like they do run true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. If anything, I feel like they're pretty similar to an Air Jordan 1. So whatever size you normally wear for Jordan 1s, I'd probably stick with that size for this shoe. Next up, in terms of comfort, so nothing too special about these. This is technically a sneaker from 1984, so the tech on the shoe is pretty outdated. With that said, it feels pretty stable, it kind of has a bit of that hard or stiff feeling underfoot, and in many ways I'd say it's comparable to an Air Jordan 1, except it is a little bit more on the heavier side. Finally, quickly touching upon the quality and overall craftsmanship on this shoe, all in all, just like many of the other Form 84 highs I've released so far this year, the quality on this pair is exceptional. All the materials used on this shoe felt super premium and super nice, and Adidas continues to impress, giving us really good quality materials on a very reasonable price point. And then in terms of the overall craftsmanship on this pair, it was pretty solid, I had no issues at all with my pair, so another stand-up job done by Adidas.
With all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. To me, my favorite part about this shoe was the fact that they were actually able to incorporate the legitimate McDonald's logo throughout the sneaker. I guess in this case it makes sense because McDonald's is the official sponsor for the game, but to me it's still kind of surreal to see on a shoe that's released to the general public. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Eric Emanuel and Adidas Forum 84 High in this McDonald's colorway. For anyone watching, did you guys grab these, did you take an L, or did you pass all together? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.